Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Uh, today, we are back on the verbal system and I want to talk to you about the multi-delay processor. Multi-delay processor is probably one of the weirdest delay that I ever tried. It's based on a very even weirder delay made by Don Buchler that never got released. And uh, it's that Mark Verbos managed to tweak the design to make it a modern Eurac twist around that concept. And uh, there's a very great video about it made by uh, Mr. Luca Marshall, another French Verbos and modular enthusiast. And uh, actually, it left a few spots untouched that I use quite often, so I decided to make a video about it, so I can show you what I'd like to do with this thing. First off, let's patch a simple sound. So I'm going to use the keyboard, gate to an envelope, CV to the harmonic oscillator. I'm going to use a rich saw wave for the start. Low pass gate mode on the QMG, sending that straight into the multi-delay processor, and I will take the manual mix out to this little topoprio mix over there. Find the envelope. We have some sound. Let me plug on the TV as well. Don't do this at home. Okay, so and we already hear some of the effects that are inside, but Luca made a very perfect overview, but I'll still go for people who haven't seen it to the very basic stuff. You have an input channel that can clip. And then you have this time knob that controls eight delay, each one after the other. So here you can hear the comb filtering effect of two up let's make a percussive sound to hear it better so basically you control the level of eight delay in a row so you can do very weird stuff like this It's a very rhythmic effect. I'll show you a few tricks that I really like. Let's start with the hardcore one. One of the thing about this delay is feedback. There's no feedback knob, but you can take the output of any of those delay and feed it back. So you can hear the feedback over there. Let me remove all this. Very good. And it happened that this can go to like a very savage feedback. I will put the volume down here. And yes, that's what you get. An insane, super clipped waveform. You don't even need an input for this. And then this can be controlled. time by the delay time here and the longer oh, it's getting pretty nasty noises the longer the tap you take here so you can get different kind of sounds like this so what we are going to do now is to put this into there and patch the output of the QMMG over here. So this is the sound of our delay in feedback clipping as hell and 
into the lopez gate we don't have any control over the tone the the, the, the the notes of it but we can actually do that it won't follow one volt per octave so let's do it with an unquantized cv output like this we just have to control the time Super nasty. Let's try with the shorter delay time you can get. So if you start to add the reverb on top in the feedback loop, you can have a different tonality. You can actually even use only the first input, which has no effects for the feedback, and then use those two. If you don't plug anything into those, they become feedback from the 8 tap but with an effect added on top which is from here it will be oh, it will be an octave up scary long sounds like this you need to watch your level you can get super nasty very quickly okay, so this is the first type of sound I like to do with it like super fuzzed out feedback weirdness change depending on how you set all the feedback knobs. It's quite good if you have a big reverb after that. As said by everyone, this is not can work as, as a good end of chain effect, but it's really not where it shines. Okay, let's go to another batch. For this one, I'm going to make a uh, simple uh, something oh yeah another thing that i like with it as a sound generating thing is the couple strong synthesis patch what the hell is this we just say couple strong is like uh, i think it's a, an algorithm that's been written by two people probably named couple and strong it's used short burst of white noise sent into a very short delay and uh, with the feedback you can make a sort of resonating thing that sounds sort of like plucked string or apish chord or stuff like this. So white noise into a VCA. Let's use the sequencer there to trigger an envelope that we will will be very 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 short, like the shortest possible. We will send this to our delay. And of course send the delay to the mixer. There's no delay right now. We have just our short plug of noise. Now we need feedback again. We need the shortest time possible. So let's take the output of the first tap back in there. Yeah, okay, so if you let it get out of hand, you know what happened, like I showed you before. What we want is just borderline out of hand. And if you put it to the minimum, then you get this sort of typical clingy sound from the couple strong type thing. Now let's patch the sequencer to the time. Yes. I love it for this kind of stuff. So from there, if you want to change the sound, you can put stuff in the middle into the feedback loop. Or you can also add the onboard effects like the reverb. Or you can go 
make the feedback over there and use the pitch shift. Make it like very weird. I prefer like this, to be honest. I don't really like the pitch shift like this, but it's a matter of taste. But what I like to do is to first send this to filter. Low pass mode. And back there. Can quickly get out, even without resonance, can get quickly out of end. Even worse with it, of course. There's lots of fun stuff to be made with this. Also, if you start to control the envelope length, you get some more dynamic results. You can even control the filter and also just patch this to VCA to... Ooh, that's, that's a proper good snare. First time I do that. That's cool. Happy accident. Okay, that was the Capra Strong patch with the delay processor. Now, I'm going to show you one of the side effects of uh, this. I'm going to plug this Output to our input, going there, I'm going to set this up, patch four of those individual outs, trigger different envelopes, let's make it fun and use one of this gate as well to make weird grooves. And I'm going to send all of those. Two different harmonics. So, I will turn down the volume on the mixer and I will increase the input over there you can get a pretty nasty saturation out of this. But even if you keep it clean, if you use the longer delay time, it starts to become sort of dusty. So, and you have to just fine tune it a little bit. See, here it's not. It's in the last quarter part. So then you have to tune it to make the weird rhythmic stuff you like. And in a combination with this, the input level and this, you can get some weird lo-fi texture like we have right now. You could use all the individual out and different taps with this mixer as it's stereo, but uh, I've done a video about this mixer where I showed this, so I'm just going to link it up to you if you're interested. And, uh, okay, so this is basically using one of the, I don't know if it's made on purpose or if it's a defect, but I like to use it that way for uh, soundscape and ambient stuff. The last trick I wanted to show you is actually using... Because we haven't touched, we haven't even talked about all those outputs. The one on the top are individual outs from the delay tabs that we can use for feedback as we've seen. And those are envelope followers outputs. Oh, don't fall. It's getting 
schedules over there. Um, we can use those follower output as control for anything. For example, like the typical use will be to patch them to like something from the sound source or somewhere else in the patch. Which in itself is already some sort of feedback. So you have to, depending on the level you have, you will input level, get more dynamic results out of this. But this is cool already. One of my favorite things is to actually plug this back into the time control. Yeah, it makes some very weird wobbly thing that are directly related to what's going in. So if you go in nicely, it's not that much. This actually works maybe better with um, patches that are more... Uh, ...using keyboards. So let's check that out. Oh boy, that's a mess. Trigger, cascade, CV for proactive. You can hear it there. Let's go with the shorter delay time. It makes like boo, like everything is dying. Yeah. So without it. With it, oh, let's be very subtle. Yeah, it's good. Boo. <laughs> Make some sort. You can actually patch this as some sort of a vibrato if you don't use the envelope follower in itself, but like a. Where you don't affect the actual frequency of your oscillator, but mostly just the pitch of the delay. Proper sci-fi weirdness. We can also just simulate a delay that's completely broken. <laughs> Well, that's it for today. And uh, go check out the video from Luca if you want more detailed information on this. And as well as all the videos from Verbals themselves. Even though they don't talk, they just show you stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll put some of those weird sounds on Patreon as always. Uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And thanks for your time. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next one. Bye bye.